Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice expression 2 to the power 101 plus 8 divided by 16 to the power 13 plus 4 to the power 14 plus 8. So let's start. This expression can be written as this 2 to the power 101 is same as 2 to the power 98 plus 3 plus this 8 is same as 2 cube divided by this 16 is same as 2 to the power 4 and whole to the power this power 13 plus this 4 is same as 2 squared whole to the power this power 14 plus this 8 is same as 2 cubed. Now by using this power rule a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times n. This 2 to the power 98 plus 3 will become 2 to the power 98 times 2 cubed plus this 2 cubed divided by by using this power rule a to the power m and whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This uh, 2 to the power 4 whole to the power 13 will become 2 to the power 52 plus this 2 to the power 2 whole to the power 14 will become 2 to the power 28 plus this 2 cube x 2 to the power 98 times 2 cubed plus 2 cubed divided by we can write this 2 to the power 52 as 2 to the power 49 times 2 cubed plus this uh, 2 to the power 28 can be written as uh, 2 to the power 25 times uh, 2 cubed plus uh, this 2 cubed. Now from the numerator we can factor out 2 cubed. So this will become 2 cubed as common factor in bracket left uh, 2 to the power 98 plus 1 divided by from the denominator we can factor out 2 cubed so 2 cubed as common factor in bracket left 2 to the power 49 plus 2 to the power 25 plus 1 Now this 2 cubed will be considered out with this 2 cubed. We are left with 2 to the power 98 plus 1 divided by 2 to the power 49 plus 2 to the power 25 plus 1. Next, this 2 to the power 98 can be written as 2 to the power 49 whole squared plus this one is same as one squared divided by 2 to the power 49 plus 2 to the power 25 plus 1. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This expression in the numerator will become 2 to the power 49 plus 1 whole squared minus 2 times 2 to the power 49 times 1 divided by 2 to the power 49 plus 2 to the power 25 plus 1. 
x this two has power one here. So by using this property, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. This expression in the numerator will become two to the power forty nine plus one whole squared minus this two to the power one plus forty nine will become two to the power fifty divided by two to the power forty nine plus two to the power twenty five plus one. Next, two to the power forty nine plus one whole squared minus this two to the power fifty can be written as two to the power twenty five whole squared divided by two to the power forty nine plus two to the power twenty five plus one. Now in the numerator we had difference of two squares. So by using this algebraic identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression in the numerator will become two to the power forty nine plus one plus two to the power twenty five. Times two to the power forty nine plus one minus two to the power twenty five divided by this denominator two to the power forty nine plus two to the power twenty five plus one. Now we rearrange the terms in the numerator. So this will become two to the power forty-nine. We write this two to the power twenty-five first, plus two to the power twenty-five plus this one times. We rearrange these terms. This will become two to the power forty-nine minus two to the power twenty-five plus one divided by. This denominator, two to the power forty-nine plus two to the power twenty-five plus one, and this two to the power forty-nine plus two to the power twenty-five plus one will be cancelled out with this two to the power forty-nine plus two to the power twenty-five plus one, and we are left with this expression: two to the power forty-nine. Minus two to the power twenty-five plus one. This is the simplified form. This is the final answer of this problem.